This is CBS. Coming up next on Channel 2 News, we'll tell you about a tug of war over who controls Chicago's tourism budget, the city or the state. This is Brian Rooney in Bensonville, where suburban residents are trying to be heard over the noise of O'Hare Field. I'll have that story. I'm Susan Wallace with Tax Tuesday fast approaching. I'll show you how some procrastinators spent this beautiful Sunday trying to duck under the deadline. And on the 43rd anniversary of the ghetto uprising in Warsaw, hundreds of Polish Americans in Chicago remember those who died there. Those stories and more coming up next on the Channel 2 Weekend News. That beautiful skin. Wood has a complexion, too. And like your skin, fine wood needs regular beauty care. That's why Scott's Liquid Gold is so important to the many wood surfaces in your home. It penetrates as it cleans. Preserving natural beauty. Keep your fine woods looking their best with Scott's Liquid Gold Beauty Care Program. Because wood has a complexion, too. The BMW 5 Series. Three luxury sedans that transform information into exhilaration. Fuel into adrenaline. And other sports sedans into idle pretenders. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Test drive the ultimate driving machine at your Chicago area BMW dealers. It's my last Thursday night with you guys. Huh? Uh, I got Group W Cable. ESPN, Sports Vision, Stanley Cup, NFL Draft, Inspire, Dr. Root, Pro Wrestling. Channel 2, WBBM TV, Chicago. Robin Robinson, John Coughlin's weather, and Howard Sudbury's sports. This is the Channel 2 Weekend News. Good evening. The expansion project at O'Hare Airport is taking a beating once again tonight, and this time its opponents came out swinging in full force. Hundreds of residents from the northwest suburbs gathered in Bensonville for a rally to protest jet noise and toxic air pollution. And as Brian Rooney explains, it's an issue that has suburban residents making their own noise, hoping for relief. The issue here is airplanes, the pollution and the noise they bring to the thousands of people who live around O'Hare. About a thousand of those residents gathered at Bensonville High School today also to make noise. It upsets our mental health, it upsets our stability, our emotional well-being, and who the hell knows what it's doing to our bodies? We're going to find out. There are about as many stories here as people in this crowd of unhappy O'Hare suburbanites. Okay, we ran outside and we saw the jet about four feet above our tall front tree in front of the house, and that was really too low. What these people want, among other things, is a ban on new runway construction, an end to property condemnation, a third major airport, a nighttime curfew, and last but not least, a regional airport authority that includes suburban representatives. On the one hand, O'Hare Airport is one of the most priceless transportation resources that we possess in the state of Illinois, and hundreds of thousands of jobs depend on it. On the other hand, the people of the O'Hare area and the suburbs surrounding it have a right to live free of environmental noise and pollution. Governor Thompson was on hand to tell the suburbanites he's on their side, and the governor was given a wheelbarrow full of petitions signed by high school students. This is not a suburban power grab. To these people, it's a grab for their sanity. You get on the telephone, you got to excuse me, uh, you know, the plane's going by and you can't leave your windows open because the planes are too loud. So you have to keep your, your windows closed at all times. A package of 15 bills is expected to be introduced to the legislature later this week. One problem the residents out here don't have is raising their voices loud enough to be heard. The only question is whether they can shout loud enough to be heard in Springfield. In Bensonville, Brian Rooney, Channel 2 News. The strike at the Hormel meat plant in Austin, Minnesota has dragged on for eight months and today Jesse Jackson is offering to help end it. Jackson met with both sides of the dispute. He also spoke at a rally supporting the striking meat packers. On Friday, 17 people were arrested when police and union sympathizers clashed outside plant gates. Rocks were thrown at the police who responded by lobbing tear gas into the crowd. 
It was the worst violence since the strike began last August. Illinois tourism and the $2 billion it brings in annually is the focus of the latest tug-of-war between the state and the city of Chicago. The city spends money on commercials like this one to encourage people to come here. Now there is a bill in the state legislature that would force Chicago to get state approval first and share more of the sales tax revenues. House Speaker Mike Madigan says that plan is not fair. Uh, I think that we ought not to have the Illinois legislature establishing statutory formulas for the budget of the city of Chicago. Madigan says he will introduce his own bill calling on the state to give the Chicago Convention and Tourism Bureau a half million dollar grant. 43 years ago, Jews in the Warsaw Ghetto began an uprising against the Nazis. They fought the Nazi tanks with bullets. When the bullets ran out, they threw rocks from their bombed out homes. Four weeks after it began, the uprising was crushed and 60,000 Jews had been killed. Today, the spirit of the uprising lived again. The Midwest Jewish Council marked the anniversary of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising and remembered the six million family members and friends who died during the Holocaust. bear witness to the Holocaust. As we remember the terrible price of the Holocaust and commemorate the awesome courage of the Warsaw Jews, we send a message across the world that the evils of prejudice, racism, and anti-Semitism will face our opposition at every single turn. The survivors of the Holocaust vowed today to teach their children about the horrors of the Nazi concentration camps so that they might never be repeated. Still ahead on our news tonight, last minute tax filers try to beat the deadline. A stuck up bridge on the north side creates some traffic flow problems and a new study with some surprising answers about the number of motorists who pay traffic fines. Soon you will be asked to vote in a very unusual election. The candidates are long distance phone companies. The issues are simple. MCI gives you the same clear connections as AT&T and the same easy way to dial. But MCI costs less. So there's really only one choice to make. I told you, it's an unusual election. When asked to choose a long distance company for your home or business, choose MCI. We should have listed with Remax. Bob's a good friend. He'll sell the house. Give him time. Remax has the greatest percentage of million dollar sellers. Bob's a natural born seller. Once he gets going. Remax agents are full time professionals. Bob works full time in his free time. Listen, Harold, Remax agents don't just list property, they sell it. Bob said any month now. Remax, you're up above the crowd. Nobody beats the track price on over 10,000 quality auto parts. Save on Valvoline Racing 20W50 motor oil or for gas and diesel engines Turbo 5. Only 85 cents a quart. Motorcraft FL1A oil filters only $1.09. Preserve your car with Armor All Protectant just $2.19. I save money at track. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and remember, nobody beats Track's seven-year, 70,000-mile auto parts warranty. Nobody beats the track price. Nobody. Only Wendy's Only Wendy's gives you a choice of fresh food and fresh toppings oh, Only Wendy's Gives you all this freshness and a special offer too Only Wendy's and Wendy's alone <laughs> The 99 cent Wendy's quarter pound single hamburger Fresh, hot and made to order now just 99 cents through April 20th At participating restaurants oh, Not much time left to procrastinate on those 1040s. In just two short days, Uncle Sam will be expecting to hear from you and me and everyone. But as Susan Wallace reports, even though last-minute tax help is available, it's the little things that are tripping people up. If you were lucky today, you were out in a dinghy. If you were guilt-ridden, you were sitting in a tax office in Chicago. Now they're going to wait six to eight, maybe even longer, to get the weeks to get the return. Uh, January, they would have waited probably four weeks and gotten the return a lot quicker. Internal Revenue Service, Mr. Basler. The Internal Revenue Service, anticipating a last-minute jam-up, has set up hotlines for those who need help. And for those who want to buy themselves more time, remember this number, 4868. That's the extension form. It will give you four more months before you have to file your U.S. income tax return. It does not mean you have four more months to pay it. The payment is due by this Tuesday, April 15th. If you haven't filed yet, uh, you're not alone. The IRS estimates that 40% of all Chicago taxpayers have yet to square with the government. 
And of those who have, there have been two snags. The first, people are forgetting to sign their returns. The second, they're trying to claim exemptions they don't qualify for. And both will slow down refund checks. And because it's close, we have to, you know, kind of rush through things and do things and get them out of the way, but it is a nervous time. We get back. We get back. So it's not too bad in that sense. I uh, urge everybody to file on time. You have to midnight on April 15th, which is Tuesday, midnight. Don't forget. Period. What about you, Mr. Mayor? I just said, mine will be filed on time. <laughs> Susan Wallace, Channel 2 News. If you drive in Chicago and get a ticket, your chances of beating the fine are overwhelming. According to a new Cook County study, 18 overloaded traffic court judges don't have enough time to consider each of the hundreds of thousands of cases before them. Those cases range from drunk driving to improper turns, and of the more than one million cases heard last year, only 32,000 drivers were fined, and that works out to only one in 40. On average, city judges had little over three minutes to consider serious cases and under two minutes to consider the minor once. At the same time, the number of traffic deaths is up 20%. But the study says many more fines are paid in the suburbs where there are fewer cases. Almost a dozen people were ticketed last night and early this morning for driving under the influence. The tickets were handed out by state police who'd set up five roadblocks on state expressways to check for drunken drivers and for car safety violations. Police say that they checked more than 1,000 cars. The surprise roadblock operations are an effort to stop motorists from driving under the influence of alcohol. A lot of motorists hit a surprise roadblock at the Ontario and Ohio Street bridges over the Chicago River today. Early this morning, the bridges were stuck in the open position, apparently because they were not balanced properly. Work crews were sent out to install counterweights, which did correct the problem. After the break, we'll ask John Coughlin if April showers or worse are in the forecast. And later in sports, one of the masters of the green will be wearing the green. Beginning Sunday, a nation in turmoil. A love forbidden. You violated my family. You have taken advantage of my daughter. A dream just within reach. I want to open up this whole continent. An empire that stretches clear from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Richard Chamberlain stars as a great American hero. Run up the American flag! In a rich, romantic saga of a national obsession. The man can't move when he wants. He can't move at all. That becomes one man's passion. Dream West. Wouldn't you like to own America's favorite Buick? Wouldn't you? Stick a price from just 10 to 28. Mm -hmm. The 1986 Buick Century with road hugging front wheel drive, the quick response of electronic fuel injection. Plus, act now and you can beat the GM price increase. Buick Century, still just 10 to 28. See your better Buick dealer now and say, Wouldn't you? Bermuda is you, and Delta gets you there with special low prices on dream vacation packages. So fly Delta to Bermuda. Not everyone was meant to know her song, but it's the place where you belong. Bermuda is you. Call 1-800-BERMUDA. For reservations, call your travel agent or Delta. Fill your cupboards at Dominic's now and save. On the possibilities with Prince Pasta. Vermicelli, thin and regular spaghetti, get two 16-ounce boxes for just a dollar. Serve up savings with ragu traditional or homestyle spaghetti sauce. A 32-ounce jar is just $1.49 at Dominic's. And get lively savings for your pet with Nine Lives Cat Food. Choose from three varieties and get three cans for just a dollar during Mother Hubbard Days at Dominic's. If your idea of a dream vacation would be indulging in the Bavarian creams, going to the opera house, taking long drives on the Audubon, well, you could at least get a taste of that this afternoon at Orchestra Hall. That's where the Bavarian Symphony of Munich was making the beautiful sounds of Debussy and Stravinsky. This time, the orchestra brought along its famous conductor, Sir Colin Davis, for his first Chicago appearance. The Bavarian Symphony will grace Boston, Detroit, Washington, and New York when it leaves Chicago. 
Mm -hmm. I'm afraid going along with it, or even sooner, is our beautiful weather. It was, uh, was nice for the weekend, but... Well, we had some rain yesterday, just a little bit, but, but uh, so nice the rain gauge is almost on empty right now, so I think we better replenish it, and replenish it we will tomorrow. Do we have to? Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> Here are the current temperatures in Chicago at 5 o'clock. 53 at O'Hare, 47 at the lakefront, 54 at Midway. High today at O'Hare was up to 56 degrees after a low this morning of 38. Humidity at this hour, 43%. We have winds off the lake, northeast winds at 16 miles an hour, and the barometer's holding steady. The sun will set tonight at 629. Days getting longer all the time. Okay, here's the current weather map, and look what we have here. A storm, a real, honest-to-goodness, winter-type storm. They're getting snow up here in the Dakotas and Montana and Wyoming, even over here into Utah as well. Around the Black Hills, they could get a foot of snow tonight. Well, this storm will be moving in a northeasterly direction. It'll be up over uh, Minnesota tomorrow. And as it moves in our direction, we'll have an increase in clouds tonight, a chance of some rain beginning along toward morning, maybe some rain, maybe even some thunderstorms tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, as that colder air begins to move in, we could have uh, some leftover rain showers, maybe even a few little snow showers. No accumulation expected, but it will seem a little bit more like winter, or more like April should, I guess. Here are the temperatures around the country today. 53 up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. 21 degrees in Great Falls, Montana. They're getting some snow up that way. 63 in San Francisco. 70 degrees in Los Angeles. 82 down in Miami, and 52 in New York City. And here's where the rain and the snow is. You can see some uh, rain and some snow up here in the Dakotas, some rather heavy rains and some thunderstorms in parts of Nebraska and Kansas, and some snow, some of which is not being picked up on radar, but there is some snow up in this area in the Rockies and in the high plains. So be on the lookout. We're going to get some of that in the Chicago area. Rain, not, in the, uh, not in the, uh, any real heavy snow. Get a straight coffin. Here's where the low pressure system will be tomorrow. It'll be moving up into uh, Iowa and southern Minnesota, and there'll be some rain and possibly some thunderstorms in the Chicago area. So get the raincoat and uh, be ready for a little bit of precipitation. Okay. Now then, here's what the temperatures will be tomorrow. It'll be in the 60s in the south side of Chicago, and you get to the northern suburbs, it'll only be in the 50s. We'll be right on the borderline. But look at here. There's some colder air, and that'll be moving down. We'll have cooler air in Chicago by the time Tuesday rolls around. Speaking of temperatures, here's where they are late this afternoon. 56 in Woodstock, 53 in Park Ridge, 55 in Bridgeview, and Hammond reporting 47 degrees. Water temperature of the lake is uh, moving up a little bit. It's up to 46 degrees right now. Forecast for tonight becoming cloudy, chance of rain by morning, and the low will be about 40 degrees. And tomorrow, showers and some thunderstorms are likely. High of about 55 degrees in the northern sections, about 63 in the far south side in the southern uh, suburbs. Southeast winds will be strong tomorrow. Kind of a windy day, 20 to 30 miles an hour. And on Tuesday, cloudy, windy, kind of cold, high only about 42 degrees. Chance of some rain or, yes, snow showers on Tuesday. Wednesday, uh, we'll get partly cloudy skies and pretty much the same story Thursday and Friday as well. High temperatures right around 60 degrees. Robin, that's the best I can do, but this is... Uh April, we do need the rain. We'll give you lots of chance for improvement. Thanks a I'll lot, try. John. Well, it was last call today for a Detroit landmark. We knew it was going. Early this morning, the Stroh's Brewery building came crashing down in Detroit, torn down to make way for a $30 million office park. For 136 years, the brewery has been part of Detroit's skyline. The beer making stopped there last year, leaving the city with just one major brewery still in operation. Does anybody know what that one major brewery is still in operation? Well, we'll ask Howard Sudbury because he's up next with sports, including the finish of the Masters plus Sox and Cubs highlights. This is the Anderson Windows Test House, located in some of the ugliest climates on Earth. Where it's always too dry, or too wet, too hot, or too cold. Anderson Windows and Patio Doors. Whether you're remodeling, replacing, or building new, they're built for the house you come home to at the Anderson dealer you come into. Available at Woodland Lumber Company, Fort Poli Millwork, John Tobin Millwork, and Village Lumber and Millwork. Ain't nothing like the real thing, oh no. Burger King introduces real fried chicken, new chicken tenders. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Not processed like nuggets, all white meat chicken breast fillets. Ain't nothing like the real thing. New chicken tenders from Burger King, real good, real chicken fillets. Elizabeth Arden just turned makeup into mousse. Introducing Simply Perfect Mousse Makeup. 
Touch it. It's so light, so airy. It glides on, blends easily, covers beautifully, looks simply perfect. Elizabeth Arden just turned makeup into simply perfect mousse makeup. Now Beauty Essentials, yours with any 850 Elizabeth Arden purchase. Available at Marshall Fields. You can help someone in need by donating usable furniture to the Salvation Army. Call 738-4360, a Channel 2 public service announcement. Here's the pitch. According to a published report, the Chicago White Sox have given the city until April 25th to come up with a plan for a new downtown stadium. Crane Chicago Business is reporting that if the city strikes out, the Sox may begin to look at other options. One of those alternatives may be building a new stadium in northwest suburban Addison. Team owners bought a parcel of land large enough to house a ballpark in the suburbs. And city officials say they don't know of any deadline set by the Sox. Team officials wouldn't comment on the report, saying negotiations are at a sensitive stage right now. And Howard Sudbury, as I predicted, knows what that, uh, the only remaining major brewery in Detroit is. Heilemann or someone? Heilemann's, yeah. Okay. That's what one of our producers here okay. just said. If you want to know about beer, ask Kerry Kerry, not me. I don't not know you. About okay, it. what about, about the Sox? Let's talk about the golf tournament today. It was terrific. At the end of 1986, when people look back, on the great moments for the year, what happened today in Augusta, Georgia, will be right at the top of the list. At the age of 46, Jack Nicklaus is on top in golf again. Everybody was a Jack Nicklaus fan today, and he didn't let anybody down, charging through the back nine like he did in the old days. Jack Nicklaus is the Masters champ, and watch some of this. Great golf by Nicklaus. Pick him up on the... Norman was only one behind on 17, and that was a birdie that put him into a tie, but then he bogeyed 18, and Jack Nicklaus was the champion. He gets a hug from his caddy, who just happens to be Jack Jr., and then last year's champion, Bernard Langer, gave Jack Nicklaus the most prestigious prize in golf, the green jacket, the sixth one for Jack Nicklaus, and he gets it at the age of 46, an incredible story. I should just skip the baseball news today because the Sox and the Cubs both got bombed out at Sox Park. Boston knocked Joe Colley out right away. They went at 12 to 2. Boston's bats were knocking the ball around. There is Wade Boggs, one of the baseball's best hitters. Knocks a bases loaded single in the third here off Colley. Two runs come in and it was 2 to nothing. Colley had a bad spring and looked bad in his first start today. Jim Rice at the plate now off Colley. And there it goes to left field, still in the third inning. And the Red Sox had a 5 to nothing lead, and that was all for Joe Colley. He was out of there. Sox got one back in the bottom of the third, but then Boston gets another one in the fourth. Boggs with another hit. This one comes off Neil Allen. Boston led it 6-1, to one, and I think that's enough of that. As Boston won it 12-2, to two. the Sox are now 1-5. and five. Other scores in the American League. Kansas City over Toronto. Yankees win by a run. Cleveland over Detroit. Minnesota losing to Seattle by a couple. Baltimore over Texas. And Oakland over California in the seventh inning. Well, after five games, it's not time for the Cubs to panic, but they haven't looked good yet. And what hurts even more is that Rick Russell mowed him down like he did today. The Cubs gave up on Russell, thought he was finished, but today he finished them. Eight to nothing Pirates. Russell looked real good. Pittsburgh jumped out in front in the first and stayed there. Here, Johnny Ray, who beat the Cubs with a home run yesterday, belts a shot down the left field line. Two runs scored on the double, and Pittsburgh had all they would need at two to nothing. Rick Russell went seven innings in the game and only gave up three hits. Here he is taking care of Keith Moreland. That is a called third strike, although Moreland didn't agree with it. Russell is now 1-1 one and one this season, getting the win today. He had plenty of help from the bats of Pittsburgh. Sixth inning, there it goes off Dick Ruthman. It was 5 to nothing Pirates when Mike Brown knocked one out to make it 8 to nothing, And the Pirates won by that score. The Cubs are now 1-4. and four. Rick Sutcliffe, today's loser, he is 0-2. 8 to nothing the final. There are other scores. Philadelphia over the Mets by a score of 4-2. to two. Montreal beat St. Louis by a run. Los Angeles leading San Francisco in the ninth. San Diego on top of Cincinnati by a run. And Atlanta beat Houston 8-7. to seven. Now a basketball game that didn't mean a thing to anybody. The Bulls are already in the playoffs. They didn't need this one. And they didn't get it. Cleveland beat them 104-97. But now the Bulls go into the playoffs against you-know-who. Isn't that going to be fun against the Celtics? The Bulls at Cleveland today. Bulls led it most of the way. Look out for Michael Jordan, an incredible left-handed scoop in. shot. Michael Jordan had 29 points. Now on the fast Jordan. break, Michael Jordan leading the, the way. Court. He looks one way, drops the pass right. the other Paxson way to John Paxson, and the Bulls were looking shoot. good, but late in the game, Cleveland took side, over. Watch Keith Lee, an incredible reverse layup inside there late in the game as Cleveland won it. The Bulls start the playoffs in Boston against the Celtics on Thursday. So the Bulls are getting ready for the playoffs. But the Blackhawks are putting the hockey sticks away, getting their golf clubs out as their summer vacation is starting a lot sooner than anybody thought it would. Toronto sent the Blackhawks home last night, finishing the sweep 7-2 last night. It was all Toronto from the start. Here, 1-0 Toronto already on top. 
On the power play, Rick Vibe will get it in the crease and takes care of it to make it two to nothing Leafs. In the second period, Toronto had up the lead to three to nothing. After a stop, the puck gets behind Murray Bannerman and Miroslav Preacher gets to it and it's four to nothing. Still four to nothing later on, the uh, Leafs steal a puck. Wendell Clark takes the pass and blasts it to make it five to nothing. And the fans started rubbing it in. Bye bye Chicago. And it was indeed. The Hawks showed a couple of signs of, goal, of uh, life, scoring two goals within 18 seconds of each other. Tom Lysiak with that one to make it five to two. Toronto closed it out at seven to two. And they close it out with a sweep. The fans throw the brooms out as Toronto had won it three in a row. The Hawks played very well at times this year, but they peaked a little bit early and never could get Toronto's number. Toronto's number last night was seven to two. Wimbledon champion Boris Becker was hobbling around on a sore leg today, so Anders Jared took the WCT tennis finals down in Dallas, but it was a good match with some great points. Pick it up here with Becker on the far side, Jared in the near court, and watch this long marathon point. Becker's last shot there was down the line and was called out, so Jared won the point. All right, a passing shot for Andres Jared now will win it, and he wins the match by a score of 6-7, 6-1, 6-1, oh, wow. and 6-4. And Chris Everett Lloyd was upset by Steffi Graf in the Family Circle Tennis Tournament down in Florida. Okay, thanks, Howard. That wraps up our news from now. 60 Minutes is next. See you tonight at 10 o'clock. It's the marriage of the year as to Simkin and District Furniture Unite as One. With a money-saving grand opening celebration now going on at all five stores. Big values including this four-piece country bedroom set, just $4.98. Save on our wedding bell specials every hour. There's free coffee and wedding cake. So join the celebration and be sure to register for our hope chest of prizes, including a Hawaiian honeymoon at all five of to Simkin's District Furniture Appliance stores. For the marriage of the year and grand opening add up to big savings for you now. The long road ahead. The 1986 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Full-size Cadillac luxury and comfort. Affordably sticker-priced. Plus new for Brougham is a 5-liter V8 engine for acceleration and power. The longest regular production car in the world. Fleetwood Brougham for the long road ahead. Now at your Chicagoland Northwest Indiana Cadillac dealer. So we're having a big celebration. Great new cars in every great shape, size, and color. Here for immediate delivery. Come drive them. Play with them. Open and close the doors. Everything works. Want a terrific deal? Hurry in. $500 cash back on any Volkswagen Golf delivered from dealer stock by April 30th. Only in Chicagoland from your Volkswagen dealers. Chicago. Growing. Thriving. Around here, evening is when the work day is done. The rush home begins, and new sounds fill the air. That's when people turn to Chicago's most trusted news, Channel 2. Weeknights, get the complete picture from the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather and the Channel 2 News Team, Bill Curtis, Walter Jacobson, and Don Craig. Together, we keep Chicago on top of the world. At Continental Illinois, you have time to be a good banker. And that's about it. The new Continental Illinois. We work hard. We have to. Now what are you eating? Popcorn. You want some? No, thanks. I'm on a diet. Come on, you two. We've got to decide. Oh, the movie. Um... We're not good. Well, I can't Three way call calling together. from Illinois yeah. Bell is a great way right. to get the gang together okay. before you get together. About Friday. Yeah, Friday's good sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Friday's great. 
So is the movie. I've already seen it. No. Easy, <laughs> guys, I'm just kidding. Very Keeping in touch is a touch easier with three-way calling. No two ways about it. A profile of Blackhawk star Eddie Olchek, tonight.